Hi friends, Andy Vegan here. I make a, a nice little tartlet today and um, I have a special fruit salad made before. You can find that on summer fruit salad on uh, in a video I published before if you want. The link is also um, in the recipe uh, under the YouTube channel. You find it, you can just click it and you find the video. But you can make any fruit salad you want. I have this wonderful fruit salad. I just wanted to use it in a cake, in a tartlet here. There are nine different fruits, or, or even the nuts is in there. You see most summer fruits, berries, peaches, grapes, are uh, awesome. Yeah, just, I said goodbye to the summer. Now we are in autumn and I have all these fruit yet here. I enjoyed well, greatly during the summertime. Now I put them all together, so to say, and give the last, last little big, big energy and vitamin boost. So here is what I do. I have this wonderful juice, yeah, combining beets, red beets and mangoes and lemon a little bit. And uh, this is a very thick, creamy juice. Yeah? If there's another video, you'll find it too. Yeah, it's um, also linked. Um, and I thought this flavor is so amazing and the texture is so interesting. It's a thick and creamy texture, almost gelatinous. I just add a little thickener. That's my thickener here. Sealant husk. And um, I will make it um, uh, thick enough to keep the fruit salad together as a filling of the cake. So as usual, I begin my cake I'm a target to have these uh, little um, molds here, serving molds. They can make wonderful cakes or tartlets. It's so easy. Uh, you can make little portions, put them in a the refrigerator in a sealed container, and then you can eat any time a little dessert if you want. It's not too much with the fruit salad. The main part it is not really not really fill it, not really uh, making you heavy, feeling heavy. It fills you, but it's not feeling making you feel happy. Uh, heavy. That's at least my experience. So. I'm really a fan of these little tartlets. So I have my food processor here fitted with the S-blade as usual and I put the, the almonds in there. Here just some almonds. Okay. And um, I have some dates here. Ah, that's all I need. First I put the almonds that I used, I, I found out it takes less time to do it separately. First the almonds that is easier to get them into the coarse meal and then I put the, the dates in there later. I come back in a minute when the meal is ready I'll show you the rest. So I have a coarse meal. I quickly show you here and um, it's pretty much done if the sides come up here, see, like here. And then you see it has a little bit of, um, of the texture I need. Yeah, at first I have to scrape it down a little bit to make it a little bit easier. And then I put the dates in here. I have seven dates in this case. Maybe it's a cup, cup of nuts or so. I just don't need that much um, for these little uh, molds. Maybe a, a cup of almonds. Whatever you like, you can make a smaller or bigger crusts. Not that important. Now I have to do it again, and again I come back in a moment when the soon the sticky dough is ready. Sticky dough ready? Show you. First I scrape it down on the sides a little bit, and then I show you the texture of this dough. Now the blade I can take it out; it's not needed anymore. Put it aside here. This is my sticky dough. Yeah, and it has to be sticky, so that looks like like this. See, it's sticky now. You can form little, make little balls from it for other desserts. That would be alone, we put totally enough for a dessert. Yeah, just forming balls and serving them, delicious. You can put anything in there, maybe cacao powder or whatever, whatever you like. Other flavors. You can put fruit in there maybe dry fruit, like dried mango or so, because if you put banana in there, fresh banana or other fresh fruit, it would usually be too mushy. 
Yeah, was too too slimy. <laughs> no, it has to be dry. But then or raisins, you know, instead of dates, whatever. So many many choices here. Very great creativity. But now for my for my little here. Um, yeah, I take the whole thing for my little um, molds, ring molds. Yeah, have a little something to stand on. Yeah, it's easier. And then I will just take a spoon. And put some of the some of the sticky down to the bottom, and well, I can I can fill away fill away three of them. Yeah. So it's always nice to have a little um, extra. Yeah, the guests are coming. Yeah, and. Um, it was on purpose that I bought a larger food processor. Uh, if you have a large food processor like I and I as like I as I do, then um, it's it's not always not always um, that's enough. Not always um, easy to make small amounts. Yeah. So the larger the, the machine is you have, the more you need. The more quantity you need to make, but that is in mind for my kitchen. That is okay because it saves a lot of time to make something um, in a, in advance, so something um, ahead of time. Then I don't need that time uh, later, so I can save time by making a little bit more, and um, so I save more time washing the instruments and everything. It really saves a lot of time. To make a little bit more and the raw food cooking is uh, nice because you have also we have dry substances like nuts and so we have dressings and juices and all these things can also be used in other recipes that can be made ahead of time so when you need them they're ready it's important also with salad yeah i put a salad a lettuce i wash this lettuce take the leaves off dry it a little bit and store it in the refrigerator in the vegetable case uh, below, I store it for a week, and when I want to like I sell it, I just take take out a leaf, or two or three, put a little dressing on top, and made, uh, maybe a pre-made dressing even. I can always refine it too, and I have a dressing, uh, a, salad, a delicious salad ready in in five minutes. Yeah, really five minutes, so easy. So here is my I show you um, from below. Here it is the bun, the crust. It's pretty firm, cause I take some more, take some more time um, in the food processor to make a really nice sticky dough, but um, uh, then you can um, press it down here in the bottom of the, the spring form or the, or the molds in no time. It's so easy. The less dates you take, the less time you take in the food processor with that, the more time it takes to press it down. Yeah. So this was very easy now. I put it aside for a while. Oh, I can leave it here. Because what I have now to do, I have to make the filling. The filling is the main main part is the fruit. Yeah, I showed you the fruit salad. I show you again in a moment. And then to keep the fruit together, I use this wonderful juice. Now I show you what the juice looks like. Here, I put it maybe half of it. I put into that uh, in that um, blender here. See the, how creamy it is. How nice that is a juice. Yeah. I've been juiced in my um, juicer. And this is a juicer, it's very inexpensive, but it makes also these creamy juices, and I like it. Now, some people don't like these creamy juices, the half of it I have about. That might be enough, or, well, a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> yeah. But the, the creaminess of the juices, as you see in this example, can be very, can be very handy, as you can use the juices in many different recipes. So, the next thing here is um, locust bean gum. I said perhaps before that it was not right. It, locust bean gum is the correct um, name of this thickener, yeah, this binder. And psyllium husk would be too gross. Yeah. The hulls of the psylliums, they are very small um, black seeds, so hard, and the husks can be used to make the, as a thickener too, but they are gross. This here, um, the locust bean gum, is also very healthy, but it's so fine. Yeah. You can almost see it in the juice. 
Very nice. I like it. One of my favorite. But it doesn't get that that firm. Yeah. Other thickeners make it a little bit firmer, but I have two tablespoons here for maybe maybe two cups or so. Or one cup of juice. I will see. And I have to use the blender because the juice is that thick. With the thick juice is it hard to get the powder all dissolved. It builds little lumps and then they won't work as a thickener that much. So better to get them really nice stirred in. You can also take uh, something like that. So let's, let's see the blender lens and get the thickener into the juice. Scrape it down to the sides, and there's a little bit still um, of the uh, the locust bean gum um, jumped up to the sides of the blender. So I have to blend one more time to keep it down in the juice. Yeah. to get the juice and the, and the thickener really nicely combined yeah, to make it really work. So that should be good enough. I'll show you here, just to give you a sample. You, this is it's already been a little bit thick, you see. But in the refrigerator, it will turn even thicker, for sure. I tried it before with that juice. If I would have put coconut milk into the juice, uh, coconut oil into the juice to make it thick, it wouldn't work. Yeah. There, this kind of thickener in this case works a lot better. And the flavor of the coconut oil, I tried that too, is not so nice together with this beet juice. I don't know, it's, it tastes very much like coconut and the, the locust bean gum is so nice because it doesn't taste almost at all. I mean, it's just a thickener, and a healthy one. You know, these um, locust beans, um, they are very famous. They grow on trees as long, brown, almost black um, uh, pla uh, seeds. And um, the, 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 the seeds are inside. And um, the locust bean gum are the, these, these tough seeds um, ground. Take it all out here. Because as it is a thick um, gel now, it is not so easy to get out. I, it is easy, but it takes a little bit more time. Uh, this soft scraper is a very versatile tool. You've got all these, um, everything out. So, that's what I have here. It should be enough, you see, it's already thickening. It's very nice. And now I put my fruit salad in. I told you a lot of different fruits, berries, all seasonal, delicious, put them in there. Just fold them into the, the cream, into the gel. And the gel here, the cream, is, is awesome, delicious. The beet here, mixed uh, together with the mango and the lemon. Such a new, wonderful flavor. It's all in that beet and, well, this is the first actual recipe I make for a dessert, like this, in a cake. Or oh, could you make a cake already? Here, what it looks like now. <laughs> and now I fill my three little molds, just put it in there, and I have something left, if I, if, if I cannot get it all put all in the, in the ring molds, I just make another one. I have a little bit of um, sticky dough left, so I could also make a third one, or fourth one. And this I put into the fridge later, 
Oh no, it's all it's all I guess the mount the mount is perfect. It works all perfect here. Yeah. Could even have used some a little bit more. One ring mold is not even full. I can take something out of the other ones to make it even. Why not? Always fair. <laughs> Same amount. No. So let's see. And that's enough. One, one more. Chuck. So I show you in a moment what it looks like. Make it a little bit nicer on top. Ah, awesome. Almost the same. Not not perfectly now, but that's not that, that, that doesn't matter. The main thing is that all um. All, they all firm up. Can you see what I have here? Can you imagine when I take off the rings? They will stand beautifully. That's what I hope. <laughs> so this is an amazing dessert. I guess when friends coming by, um, they will have fun as I, as I do. So I hope you enjoyed. If you feel inspired, I would be very glad. There's so many things I tried here. The fruit salad, um, then with the beet juice, uh, with a little bit of a locum, locust beast, bean gum to make it a bite, sick of thickener, and then in these ring molds. So I'm very excited. New flavors, new textures, and well, uh, let's let's greet the, the autumn. Let's, let's, let's say goodbye to the summer. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Maybe you'll like to subscribe also Andy Vegan on YouTube to have another recipe every single day. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.